Well, by popular demand, this week we'll be feeding my 75-gallon freshwater aquarium. I have all sorts of different barbs in here and live plants and real driftwood. I really do enjoy the more natural look to everything being real instead of artificial. I feed my fish primarily omega-1 cichlid pellets. There's a lot of good supplements in here for fish color, and I use the small sinking pellets because a lot of the fish in here can only handle the small pellets. But I highly recommend using sinking pellets as opposed to flakes when you have fish because flakes will disintegrate and the crumbs the fish leave behind and then those crumbs just add to the ammonia or waste products in your water. Pellets, on the other hand, since they're all the same shape, the fish will eat them all, leaving no waste behind. For the bottom feeders in this tank, I use Hikari brand algae wafers, and these are spirulina and algae and other vegetable matter all compressed into small wafers that sink straight to the bottom. Some of my fish may pick at them on their way down, but the bottom feeders are essentially what eat the majority of them. The bala shark, being an herbivore, will pick at them a lot too, and he'll find them sooner or later. But the main fish that eats the algae wafers would be the Plecostomus in this tank. This is a bristlenose pleco. She is the queen of the tank. Whenever she finds food, no one else can have it. And come on, it's just to your left. Go on. Nope, nope, you're getting further away. Maybe she's trying to... Oh, she's going for that other algae wafer. Watch out, clown loach. Once she finds it, it's all hers. Bristlenose plecos only get about five inches long, which is kind of nice. She's so close. There it is. Now she'll chow down. A special treat that I give my fish would be frozen brine shrimp. Now this is a very healthy treat for them. I would feed them live brine shrimp if I had access to it, but I don't. So instead, I just break off a chunk of the frozen brine shrimp and then wave it around in the warm, you know, 80 degree water, which melts the uh, adhesive that's holding all the brine shrimp together, and all the shrimp will fall off, sink to the bottom, and they get inhaled by my fish. They are ravenous gluttons, and they will eat as much brine shrimp as I give them, to be honest. Sometimes they'll, like, actually pick at the frozen cube, which you would think would be cold, but they don't seem to care. This is a rosy barb. Brine shrimp, along with other frozen fish foods, are also really good for their color. I also had this weird contraption. This is called the Pleco Feeder, and you'll see how it works shortly. First, you skewer on whatever food item you're going to be offering to your fish. Today, we'll be giving them shrimp. Then you slide it into the tank, and the handle hooks around the lip of the tank and holds it in place. And the fish simply pick away at the shrimp. My fish love this, too, and this is another special treat for them. A nice healthy treat, too, since it's just whole shrimp, obviously. I just keep the shrimp frozen in my freezer and thaw them out one or two pieces at a time, and overnight they will be gone. And even though the plecos are mostly herbivores, even this bristlenose wants in on some of the shrimp. She can't let everyone else have all the fun without her being a part of it. The other pleco on the bottom is a royal pleco, and he still can get quite a bit larger. Uh-oh, watch out, guys. Here comes the bristlenose. Once it's hers, it's nobody else's. Take your last few bites. Oh, well, that is hers now, too. What I put on the skewer specifically for the bottom feeders is zucchini. The bala shark loves this stuff, the plecos really like it, too, and the other fish, including the gold barbs here, will pick at it, and it'll be gone pretty much overnight. Zucchini is another really healthy treat, and of course, fresh is best. And there goes the pleco. I tell you, she eats everything, and she claims it all for herself. The fish usually go for the softer inner parts of the zucchini first, and then all that's left at the end is the dark green rind. But if you leave it in long enough, they'll eat that too. One more treat I give my fish, and this one I don't give too often because they're kind of harder for me to acquire, are live blackworms. Live food is amazing for fish, not only for their color, but for their overall health. And if you're trying to breed fish, live feeders will put them into spawning mode almost immediately. The blackworms can be a little bit fatty, so I wouldn't recommend feeding strictly live blackworms, but you can use them as a pretty frequent treat for them. I can just put more and more in, and they inhale it. Every fish, large and small, goes berserk over the live blackworms. But that just about covers all of the different foods that I offer to my fish. I usually try different things on the skewer to see what they do and they don't like, but the shrimp and zucchini are definitely their top favorites. 
Thanks for watching this week's Feed My Pet Friday. Don't forget to vote in the top right corner for next week's, and we'll see you then.